for the uh, a very experienced uh, endoscopist who wants to be top qualified and even better, it gives the feedback of all your movements. So, so you get a, a, a live video that shows you if you do something with the shaft, the torque, and the handle and the tip, it gives you immediate feedback visually so you can train uh, your technique and, and refine it to be even, even more and better and sophisticated. I always use it. If, if it's available, I think it's, it's, it's crazy not to, to put the tools that, that makes you do better. To explain how scope guide is beneficial on, on the pediatric scopes, we have to go back and maybe explain a little bit about colonoscopy technique with the conventional adult scopes. So in principle, with the scope guide on, with an adult scope, you can actually train yourself to try to do an insertion of the left colon without creating loops at all. And that have not been possible with the previous versions. If we did take the pediatric scope, which for me is an endoscope for the colon, and it's more or less a push scope because of its softness and flexibility. So you're really able to, to have these uh, kind of loops on the scope without giving all transmission or put forces on the bowel wall. So the patient will not complain even if it looks more or less awful on the UPD, very tortuous which is, is, would be painful with an adult scope. And then the, uh, the uh, very flexible tip that you have like a, on, on an upper GI endoscope makes it possible to, to really uh, go around corners and steer around while you put a certain tension, inwards tension on the scope and it will actually slip and be more or less turned and screwed into the small tortuous area and the scope will gently uh, uh, move on. You need to tell people that it's a different technique. You, you're using push technique and not talk and, and, and de-talk and, and talk and steer because that's not what the scope is designed for. Here you see a case where we use the new pediatric scope. As you can see in the sigmoid area, it's very narrow tight loops, but the patient doesn't complain and you gently push and, and move the tip while the scope slowly advances through the tortuous loop. On, on the scope guide it is like a really twisted three or four times around each other like, like a loop like, like this and that wouldn't be possible with an adult scope. And slowly approaching the splenic flexure we end up having the scope being more or less similar to, and it looks like that you have a soft spiral in the sigmoid and the tip nicely advances uh, to the uh, splenic flexure. One thing you have to be aware of that, that you also need a different technique for uh, removing the loops. You, you need really sufficient insertion and then comes the nice part, because it is so soft that you don't want to create the loops again. And that's where the innerflex and variable stiffness really assist you keeping the left colon straight. And then it's, it's really, really fast going further on. I mean, if you're going to do therapy in the right colon, which is possible also because you have a fairly large channel in this version, uh, then when you straighten out the scope and want to do endoscopic resection of adenomas in the right colon, then, then because it is soft, then you need to have precise movement to stiffen it. So you can sort of forget that it gives after with a loop in the sigmoid. So when you push, you know you're pushing toward the targets more easily without having the loops recreated. But therapeutic or difficult therapeutics, the non-scope non guide, uh, Pediatric, it's impossible. You need to turn on the x-ray, try to straighten loops, which is impossible, and, and don't start difficult mucosal resection with that scope. Um, try to get in with a scope that actually, when you got to the target on difficult bowel, mm. then you can actually turn it into a more dedicated therapeutic scope by putting on the inner flex, 
you have the UPD to straighten out, help you straighten out, and suddenly you have a, a scope that is capable of doing advanced uh, endoscopic resections. And the new scope also got the Innoflex, uh, which makes it probably the best tool for difficult colonoscopy that I ever have tried.